This is a training aid. You take your two loins. You go with your sirloin end and your rib end. That way you don't have just two lean of one or two fatty of one. So it turns out just about right. And you're going to tie knots in it about an inch apart. And this is how you tie that knot. I'll go a little slow. So, come underneath. You go make, side. Make, come underneath. You make sure it's tight, that way the string is straight. And then you uh, give yourself enough room here to catch that loop. Watch this loop. Like that. And then once you come around, you cinch it up just enough so it's snug. You don't want to, like, cut to the meat. Can you do that same thing one more time? Yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of them. Uh, just a hair slower. Say, back up, do it, back up, do it again. See how you come with the string like this? Basically, all you're doing is making a loop right here, but with that string. And then you come here, you grab that string and pull it through. Right, and where he's having the problem is he's grabbing the wrong string to cinch with. Yeah. So make sure and grab the string that's coming off the roll to cinch with. Yeah, I went a little loose, a little too far apart. Anyway, you cinch it down. And then to make sure that it stays, you just go like this. You grab two fingers, and you make a hole there, and you grab the string and tighten it down. And that'll give you your nut, and it won't come out. Okay, let's go real time. Okay. This is what we should be seeing you do, like this. Hopefully one cinch. Yeah, one cinch would be better. People yank on this thing like they're tying down the Queen Mary. So this is getting spaced out so you can cut roasts in between it. That's why they're not four inches apart from each other. Yeah, you want them close enough. That way, if you cut a roast right here, so I'm going to cut this off and square it up. Watch, we're going to make it real pretty. See, now we have, like, the roast there. And I messed up my string.